and welcome guys to another little tutorial now today's tutorial is going to be over the changes that I made to the the uh, players the way we display health and things now this is also a continuation on the inherited reference that we did earlier now to display this and everything we have our own little script okay it's just a regular mono behavior on the health script nothing special got a text the image is not used but I plan on maybe putting an image later I don't know yet but there's nothing special about it we're just changing the text on it so you could either have a complete no image with numbers or an image I like it with a little image because it it brings a little bit of flavor text to it but in all aspect it can do basically whatever you need it to and that's all it really needs to be is it's just a little image thing with a little text component very easy to do just do canvas and you know place it where you want this isn't a UI like tutorial thing but I'm just showing you guys text component that's it and this script is basically very bare bone okay so let's go take a look at it and it should come to no surprise on how it works very easy very powerful is we got our health display script which is a public I have this default executional order to be really early okay that way I make sure it instantiates before you know everything else and yada 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 so if you get like a reference pro I, I was getting a reference problem because this uh, the variable in our static class wasn't filled in yet which our static class isn't here it actually is inherited from so we have this public that just does a float okay health it can say whatever you want or you can pass in a string or something like that like string name values and it be you know a string and instead of having this encoded like this you can put string name or something like that but I didn't do that because you know basically health health I mean there's nothing too particularly about this this has to be public and we I heard I grabbed a reference of this for the text component and I made sure that it we fill it in before the game even starts or anything like that because there's no sense in us doing a get component call and all this other garbage in here there's no sense in it because it, it would just make our program slower to do another get component like when we can just drag this in here and it'd be fine I mean we're not that lazy obviously because we're writing it but still now we got this basic start I could put this in probably awake and not have this executional order thing here but you know it's just one of those things where you just gotta go ah hey, you know just it's fine and this is the call that updates our UI when it needs to happen now the script that actually calls this is in the player script and we don't actually have a health health script yet in the game because we're just doing everything else but this is how this is the class that will be responsible for updating the visual stuff okay now the updated from our actual player health it's pretty easy you just do a damage call and you just call this up very easy so this right here is not a mono behavior it inherits from our players values class 
which all our players value class is, is holding references. See, I've got a reference to this health display. So when the program starts, we set the he display health to be this, okay? So we grabbed what's already in the scene. This, this right here goes, hey, player values. I want the health display variable to be filled in by me, okay? Which you should only have one health display, I mean, for the player itself, right? So that's what I'm doing. I'm just grabbing and holding this reference. So any class that inherits from this, the player values, will have access to these variables, okay? They can manipulate them, they can do all that stuff. Stuff that does not inherit from here cannot. It cannot do anything with it. Okay, and that's how that works. So traditionally, in our player script here, we also inherit from player values here. So I told, I put a hundred health in here just for, you know, just to have something call up what we need and we go health display dot UI update and we pass it the health variable. That's it. That's all you need to call up this. Okay. The class, this, and that. And that's it. I mean, it's very super, super simple. And it's due to having access to the player values script. Okay. It's statically referenced and all that good stuff so we don't have to deal with any referencing issues or anything as long as that variable is filled it will call it up without without even trying and the great thing about this is in frame update just to test this theory we'll go health display Wait. What's our inter Ah. Display health. Okay. Display health dot UI updates. And what we're gonna do is we're just going to do a health variable and then go minus minus okay so in the update it's going to minus minus the health by a little bit each time actually um minus equal 0.1 F okay so every frame it will do a minus equal health and this will go on for uh, quite some time okay we should see it display the health quite a bit and this will happen in every single update and you see the the whole point of it doing it statically like that is to Get rid of find object to type or get component or or hard code a reference into it but in the start of the script just go after it right because if you have like 15 20 scripts then you've got issues okay so Okay, it was too big. Let's do best fit. What, it can't do best fit? Really? That's crazy. Align with geometry. Wrap. Let's do overflow. There we go. There we go. Now we can see it. Overflow. So obviously the text didn't align and everything else. 
But you can see every frame, this is lowering. And the whole idea of this is, instead of, in the start of your script, just grabbing a reference to it and filling it in, why don't we initially just inherit those references? So, instead of creating a human being, then putting blood in him, why don't we just, in the creation, just put blood in him right off the bat, right? He just inherently has blood in him, you know? I mean, there's just, it would it'd be just like having a child, okay? Instead of teaching him, if you had the option between teaching him or he just inherits all the knowledge that you have, would you rather teach him or just inherit everything that you know? Most likely, you're going to go, well, I just want him to inherit everything I know because I know a lot of stuff, right? And that's that's the whole concept, okay? We just inherit the entire thing right off the bat. So there's no referencing, there's nothing going on that's fishy, and our program actually runs better that way. Because before I started doing this, where I was doing, doing the... Uh, stuff and everything I couldn't run post processor and record at the same time with a decent frame rate it would sync it like the 30 or so and look it's staying above 90 I can actually sit here and literally run this right here was impossible before okay so inheriting the references like this and going static has gained a huge huge thing for us because internally it's instead of instantiating hundreds of little little variables to hold that stuff in it it, it points to one so memory is a lot lower the footprint is a lot lower and initially we gain performance so this is my little tutorial I guess in displaying health in the UI system in such a way that actually benefits you and everything so if you guys like this video and subscribe and hit this smash the little bell I'm sure we will come up with some better and well I don't know we'll aim a little higher on the tutorials and stuff so like hit subscribe and I think I've used up enough of your guys' time on this script. Because 12 minutes, 13 minutes, you know, give or take. But uh, peace out, everybody. This is War over and out.